This is not a banger. This is not a banger. And I know bangers. I know bangers. <laughs> uh those are his words not my words uh but what's up you guys happy thursday god damn march 21st and uh freaking um side show side show dropped another one then who is oh that's a good question like i want to put that as a freaking uh poll question but what's up uh dennis perez uh don't forget the iron city is one tenth die of over yours oh yeah yeah that came out pretty nice too i think that is uh one tenth and freaking juggernaut looks like he's a quarter scale <laughs> but uh let's see let's see. put some music on it's kind of quiet but yeah you guys uh freaking sideshow's back at it again uh, freaking uh love this here right uh but let me put a poll up real quick so we could have some fun with the poll uh doo -doo -doo. so i'm gonna ask going going to what's the word going to is no i'm gonna put is this a is this a banger <laughs> yep uh quarter scale for me uh, yep. Uh, one fifth scale for me. Is anybody gonna get this one? By by the way, uh, nope. Uh, getting the Queen Hulk. Uh, or nope. Not, not for me at all. Boom. All right. <sighs> Oh, Luke, what's up, Luke? Luke, if you want to join in, man, let me know. I think it's Friday there, so you're probably working. It's all good, though. What's up, Luke? Uh, Colossus still has the same Thor arm and the fat face. <laughs> That's funny that you say that because now I'm going to have to look at his face. But, uh, yeah, so this got dropped. I had zero expectations on, like, it being uh, quarter scale, or I, I had, like, zero I, I would have never guessed it was a quarter scale. Like there's there's no way like any I don't think anybody guessed that was gonna be quarter scale. <laughs> but uh here we are. They did both scales, man. How come you can't zoom in? Hold on a second. Uh, there we go. Gotta zoom in a different part. Uh, let's see, let's see. Alright, so right now the poll is up there. I'm asking uh let's see. It's all good, Luke. Mmm. I'm asking the, the people uh, to see exactly, let's see, we're at four minutes almost. Is this a banger? <laughs> uh, so nine votes in so far. Yep, quarter scale for me. Yep, fifth scale for me is at 0%. And 0% said they're going to get the Queen Hulk. 33%, nope, not for me at all. Wow, that's interesting. But uh, we'll let that uh, build up and see how this one goes. Uh, well, actually, since we're here, I'm going to go to freaking Sideshow. All right, so I want both. But <laughs> don't we all always want both? Like, it would be cool to make that work one day. We got Gotham Cinnabites. What's up, man? I think you're. Are you, are you muted? I think you're muted. I think so. Oh no, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> did you have like, any? Did you know this was going to be in both scales, or did you think this was going to be one over the other, like fifth to over four? I, the only thing I thought was that they were going to sell it with or without the book. I didn't know it was going to be two sizes. Yeah. Nice guy says, "I wish Sideshow just gave both scales the comic." Yeah. So I've talked to. <laughs> three people about this they wish the quarter scale had the book one guy said because he was worried about wolverine like either you know le leaning issues where the book would come come to place hold him stronger but uh queen hulk is one expensive doll if i'm spending that much on silicone it's going to my <laughs> i mean then they, then they said it was art it articulates too i'm like what the fuck that's cool. I thought that was really cool. I mean, it's not cool. I mean, it's gonna 
I do worry about breaking over time like a damn hot toy. Oh, we got a, a hot toy collector right here that's joining the uh, the chat. One second, let me add him real quick. I got hot toys. <laughs> this guy does too. Oh. <laughs> I don't think he has any hot. Toys. He does it. He does. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Jarhead? Oh, I think you're muted still. How about now? You're good. You're good. All right. So, I uh, I rushed home to get on your stream, man. So you should, be, you should feel honored. There we go. Now <laughs> that power jar. <laughs> I only use it on you, though, for some reason. Because <laughs> because you like to pick on me. You're a big bully. <laughs> oh, Jarhead, you're you're hilarious, man. <laughs> Resin Ronin, new people on tonight. Uh, Sideshow is very smart. There will be people who will buy both just because of the comic book. So it's interesting that he says that because uh, I'll show you guys in a little bit. But uh, so right now there's two scales, fifth scale and quarter scale, which still throws. I hope this is a thing signs like this is a sign of bigger things to come. So you know you know how many other uh dials that could do like this quarter scale and fifth scale That'd be so, bad. so something something i was thinking about on the way here I, I, I was trying to figure out why they did they do um one with the comic book and one without mm -hmm. um and I, i'm thinking because everybody wanted it one fourth right so that one fifth statue ain't gonna sell if everybody buys the one fourth so this is an incentive for, for other people to buy the uh the one fifth statue over the one fourth so you'll have people buying both statues. I think if they had both options, I think everybody would buy that one fourth. Yeah, yeah, and the one fifth probably wouldn't sell. Yeah. And they already have like a bunch of collectors that have one fifth Dios or one fifth other other X Men. That's a good point. I didn't I didn't think about that initially. Yeah, because I kept seeing a lot of people. I uh, was watching your boy Jim Mint earlier on the on the. <laughs> On the ride home and he was saying that he was just kind of um upset that they didn't do the um book with the quarter scale and, and i was just like i said i was just thinking about it it makes me makes kind of kind of makes sense if you think about it you know so it's kind of splits the sales between the quarter and the because people are going to die die hard guys are probably going to buy the the quarter scale no matter what right even if it doesn't have the book yeah um, but i think it'll ha it'll attract more people to get the one fifth if it's um has the book with it basically so it, it's funny that you mentioned that because i put this uh poll up to see if it's a banger and like look at that 71 percent said the quarter scales for them so yeah, yeah it's just now the having that book just like you said man it's just it <laughs> it's definitely happening i guess you should have a slogan jarhead by now like you got vision behind you like vision can't do any uh <laughs> guesstimations anymore so <laughs> <laughs> with, without without uh without my input <laughs> uh, Nelson says, "Are you sure that this that is quarter scale on the fastball special? Because they it's, put it together with next to a quarter scale statue, it looks smaller. It looks a little smaller. It does, but it's still pretty close. I think it's pretty close. Yeah, it's different. Uh, what's it called different stances too, or different poses. One's yeah. like standing up directly up. The other one is different. Yeah, the, the pictures are a little bit different. Uh, Luke says, Steve, you should pair the quarter with your juggernaut." If I was collecting X Men, I would knock out two of, with just that one, man. That's that's not a bad idea. Figure Con Pop Pop says they're giving it a four. Yeah. So yeah, in case you didn't know, they're they're doing this in quarter scale and one fifth scale. Uh, interesting. Uh, what do you guys think of the price? So for a fifth scale, you get seven hundred and fifty-five dollars. Quarter scale is gonna be set at a thousand fifty. I think the quarter scale is, is it's fair, you know, because you got two characters that are quarter scale. You know, there's not really a base to it, you know, but it, but it's two quarter scale statues. So I mean, I, I think it's, I think it's pretty fair. Yeah, I think I'd rather buy the Batman versus Joker. Yeah, there's that too. The that, one, that, that one's around the same price, right? Yeah, it's the exact same price. Yeah, yeah. the price is fair because. Yeah, there you go. You were saying Jarhead too, five hundred bucks. Per. Yeah. So I had a Sideshow Colossus, and that box for Sideshow Colossus was massive. I forget shipping was insane on that too. So he just got to get ready for that too. And he has almost the same stance where his knees uh, a little bit forward. So the box had to be 
set up differently. It was definitely massive though, last I remember. Yeah. Sentinel base. A new one's gonna have straps though. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh Yes, on the check, it says, I don't have a Colossus, so this combo would be nice. Yeah, they, they, Sideshow did this one right because they put like pictures up next to the previous Colossus and Wolverine, and I thought that was pretty cool. So, uh, just giving you guys more details on this before we get into pictures, uh, this one was sculpted by Will Harbottle, Ivan Koryarev, Rachel Rubrik, Ian McDonald, Casey Love, and uh, I can't believe William Harbottle was involved with this one. That's pretty I cool. I can't believe Ian e. McDonald was like that's like one of my favorite like artists. Like he like all his art prints. Mm. I love all his stuff. Maybe the comic book was designed Maybe. by humor. Yeah. It's looking good. So really quick, the fifth scale one is gonna measure at 18 inches tall, 14.93 inches wide, 19 inches deep. That's not bad, man. Like for two characters at fifth scale, that's like manageable. I mean that's pretty deep for a fifth scale. Like even even the 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 quarter scale is like it's like over twenty inches, so it's they're both deep statues. It's definitely because of the pose, right? Like Wolverine's gonna be like yeah, because he's back and Colossus's hand is out. So yeah, check out the photo. Of that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into pictures like in a little bit, but uh, I wanted to go over the the facts. <laughs> Uh, the premium format, a thousand and fifty bucks. No edition size yet. Uh, it's gonna measure in at what was the measurement on this one? Yeah, twenty-four inches tall, fifteen point five inches wide, twenty-five point five inches deep. Yeah. It's not too bad, I think, because like what Jar had said, like most of it's gonna be hit, uh, Colossus's arm forward and I think leg. Good. Yeah. That's a great picture right here. Looking the at colors, this... the colors are a little different than the PFs. The like his his skin tone, like Klaus's skin tones, a little bit different. And I think Wolverine's painted like in his classic suit, like uh, that other one next to it. That's like a more modern, modernized Wolverine suit on the on the right. This is more his classic suit. Yeah, he has the stripes. Uh, on them too, so I, yeah. I like that. The red belt, yeah. This is definitely, this is definitely a banger. Uh, some guys in the chat are just talking. I wonder how the engineer is going to be like the, with the Wolverine on the Colossus hand, and wonder if the foot of the Wolverine is primarily attached to Colossus. I think that exactly what it is. I think his arm is going to slide into the other arm, maybe into Colossus's arm like his it's like gonna be at like the elbow maybe mm -hmm. yeah I could see that so by premium gym or it could be Wolverine's leg is attached you know what I'm saying like his all the way up to his like where it meets the waist right there mm -hmm. you could do like that too well you hear this let me you want me to kick this guy out real quick I personally <laughs> prefer this I show of have Say the word, man. Just say the word. <laughs> Did you have pictures of the custom? What's uh, that? Did you have a picture of the custom? I don't. I don't. Yeah. You get. You got to go and custom produce oh, for that. For that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So, other than that, man, the details, the measurements, they're all there. There's no addition size. I'm glad that they put the price out too, though. Like, uh, it's, uh, I don't think it's it's like bothering so many people so that's a huge thing and like i i don't know if this is a fair question but do you think they should have spent money on doing a fifth scale wasn't the wolverine and hulk a fifth scale mm. yeah i mean they're probably just you know doing it for those people that already have the rest of them yeah that's true like just to keep up with them but i feel like they're going to start drifting off from that pretty soon i think i think uh, everybody wants quarter skill dials that you know everybody is happier with that so i think they're going to see that with this statue and probably continue trying to do like i hope that gambit and rogue is quarter scale instead of fifth wow you know? <laughs> so. 
Yeah, going back to the polls, it jumped up to 64% for the quarter scale. So, there you go, man. The rest of those couple statues, though, are they all fifth? They're all fifth, yeah. Uh, trigger words for Jarhead, yep. <laughs> See, everybody's, oh, yeah. trying pick, everybody's trying to pick on me tonight. I don't know what, what it is, but... <laughs> Ooh, now will they do a Hulk versus Hulk Buster quarter scale? <laughs> Two thousand dollars. So that one that they already made, that wasn't that was fifth. That was fifth. Yep. Yeah, all their dials have been fifth. Every 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 one of them. They they started now with the with the quarter scale with the Batman. So. Yeah, so uh, we're going to get into the pictures, but this, a uh, heads up, this is for the fifth scale. Uh, fifth scale. Uh, let me get us out. Of, let's get us out of the way. Uh, I like this, man. I, I like this a lot. Uh, yeah, from paint, it. sculpt. I don't see any issues with this one. But I'm talking about the comic book version, too, the fifth scale comic book version. I, I like the comic book. I, it, it adds something to the piece, I think. Mm. Um that it just you know even even the back of it has comic art on it I, I don't know it just adds something to it the piece i guess but and you have the option of not using it if you don't want to so um me personally i, I think i would go with the core scale too um just because it, it would fit more with my lines that i have but if i had like a little standalone section i would definitely probably pick up the the fifth Put this in your uh, bathroom, like a uh, DT did. Yeah, his, uh... <laughs> build, a little, build a little shelf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really quick too. I forgot to uh, mention this, but uh, wasn't like the, the the ship date expected was July. July to September. Twenty twenty four. Yeah, this year. That's nuts. These yeah. they're crazy. They're just like shipping stuff out as soon as they announce it. It's, it's nuts. Do you think they already have like a half the production done? And that's another that's another reason why I think they because they decided to do quarter scale last minute, and they took away the books so that way people would buy more of the stuff they have in production probably. Because I mean, if if you're gonna make a big production run of statues, and you are gonna ship them out that soon, I mean, I I would think that they have they already started, you know. That's insane. That's. <laughs> Look at it, man. Like, this looks really, really good, I think. So what is that, like, four months? Yeah. Four and a half months? Yeah, March is basically over. It's, like, already yeah. March 21st. Yeah. So. yeah, so they had to have started working on this already. Okay, so let's go, like, let's go through uh, Wolverine for, for right now. Just Wolverine. Like, what do you guys think of Wolverine? Do you think, like, there should have been texture on his suit? Or you think, like, um, he's... There should be more paint on them. Like, so like I, I think I think they're going for a more of a comic book look. Like you can even look on his mask and see it's more like that's got those blue highlights and stuff in it. Mm -hmm. I think they're looking. They're trying to do like a comic book type inspired look, obviously because he's coming out of the comic book pages. So like knowing that, I don't mind that it doesn't have as much texture or detail in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But even that stuff that is there, it's there. Like the teeth. Like if you look at the teeth, it's it's really well done. I do see some texture on the on the suit. Mm -hmm. looks looks pretty good. It's not like smooth. I don't like it when it's too smooth. Like this is like a little bit roughed up. There's like a it's sticking out paint. a little bit, but yeah, the paint there is is not yeah. perfect, obviously. But you know, prototypes. So can't complain too much about prototypes, right? <laughs> uh i like to display the quarters piece with my side show. wow that's a good idea right there too what, what do you think of uh wolverine uh terry i mean it looks it looks good to me <clears throat> i don't really know too much you know other than movies and unfortunately we haven't seen this yellow suit yet but yeah it looks it looks great to me this this is like their old school uniforms like back in like before 2000s it's like um uh, 90s like be probably even before 90s this is like their super classic costumes 
So here's a good like take on it. So the costumes, Co Comic Galaxy says the costumes don't match. That's the Sylvester Colossus from the 80s, and that the Jim Lee Wolverine from the 90s. But that's just a nitpick. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's not it's not a bad nitpick. Uh, the, 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 the the big shoulder pads that Colossus had back in the day, like you should be like wings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like <laughs> like a football uh, shoulder pad or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So Wolverine uh, looks great. Good to you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's plenty of detail there. And like I said, the, the look they're looking for, I think, was more comic. Um, but that's what SciShow does anyways. They do more comic book than um, like something like XM does. But it's still there's pl still plenty of detail there, I think. Do you think that's lighting right there on that side? Underneath the arm? That, that, the right side of his face. Yeah, that's light. Uh, I think I think that's light. Yeah, because you see it on Colossus too, right here. But yeah, I know I know people were complaining about Colossus's face too, since we're right there. Um, but I I think it looks good. I think it looks good. The biggest complaint I've seen, like complaint, not even nitpick, is the uh, the way he's putting his fingers out. I was like. Yeah. Okay, come on, you guys. Like, well, one, 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 why don't you go out and throw a football sometime and see how you throw the football? I'm Your hand nerd. does that. I'm a nerd. I don't do <laughs> football. <laughs> Sorry, I, 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 I played I play football in high school. So, <laughs> but yeah, your hand does a lot more awkward shit than what that looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Fuse ball. Uh, yeah, well, Wolverine, I, I don't think there's no complaints of Wolverine. Um, not, not that I've heard, like, um, like again, this, this is still, yeah, I, I love the size of Wolverine too. Like he's like half the size of Colossus, you know? Yeah. As it should be. Yeah. I like how the, the flames of that, the bottom of the thing go into the book too. Yeah. Like it folds up and goes around. Oh, yeah. you mean like the picture, like resume? Yeah, like the picture, yeah. like it goes up into the book, but then the book t takes over. You know, mm -hmm. that's cool. I love the texture, like on the on his boot, looks like straight up leather. Yeah, that's a nice touch, and like the folds and everything, that looks crazy, man. And again, this is the fifth scale, supposedly. <laughs> Just a heads up. He's looking good, man. This is like a big, big, well, good job from um, Sideshow, I think. And nobody was expecting this either. They had a, like they showed that art print a long time ago, and people were kind of thinking about it back then, but they were silent on this for a long time. Yeah. Uh, here is a question from Nelson: Is Colossus underscale to you? Not compared to Wolverine. So I, I think comparatively, like I think the overall statue is a little small compared to the other ones, but not by much. If it's like a quarter scale, if you're looking at quarter scale versus quarter scale, but with the one fifths, I don't think uh, Colossus is. I think he's about the right size versus Wolverine here. Yeah, me too. Good question though. Like uh, we'll we'll see pictures of it next to the other pieces, but here's the back of the uh the comic book yeah it looks good too I, lo I love the pages of the book too man i don't know if you noticed that yeah they're kind of got that weather look yeah like it's like old school white pages whatever yeah yeah this this would not be a 9.8 i don't think <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so i was looking at the sentinel piece uh, earlier i love how beat up it is like you see wolverine try to do work on him it's just a lot of damage on the sentinel the it, it, it looks melted without the uh comic book on it like once you look at one fourth it's kind of kind of melted looking but mm -hmm. you know like i definitely prefer the base with the comic book on it look at that i, I like this this is my prior favorite picture right here I get the whole sense, like, you know, look at his uh, bicep. I've been working biceps for the last two weeks. And, like, when you start, like, uh, when you start, like, getting that pumping, like, god damn. Oh, oh yeah, huh? <laughs> yep. Getting um, that pump in. 
Uh, I lost There's a call. seam line though, right there. You see it on Colossus's arm. Colossus's arm. The other one, the one that's straight out. See, it? I don't know if that's where. Yeah, right there. That's a seam line. It's it's hitting really well with the with his skin, but I think that's the seam line. Yeah, I, it's definitely a seam line. Like uh, here, you can see it's. Here, let me zoom in a little bit more for you. Yeah, it's got space yeah. in between. Compared to this, where yeah. it's not bad though, it's not like no, it kind of it kind of matches. It. Like you'd have to be looking for it, I think. No. But uh, the paint. Look at look at the paint on uh, his arm, man. Like the veins, the hair, the the wrinkles. It's... I think Wolverine's one piece. I bet his portrait is like another piece. It doesn't. It doesn't look like there's a. Like it comes off like there's a seam. I don't see a seam anywhere. Uh, we'll try to get more pictures in a little bit, but yeah, the paint job I, I love whoever did the paint on this. Like, I'll look it up again, but yeah, they did a great job on this. Thing. You guys are oh, look, there's a seam line right there in his hand, so it does like he is connected to his uh boot. Yeah, that's a huge seam line. That's cool though. Uh, but you guys are definitely like any any other nitpicks that you guys are picking up on, like or see or want to call out. Um, not really, just those those little things. But I mean, even that's that's not even that. Yeah. With, with the one fifth and that book gone, do you see the rest of Wolverine's leg? Yeah. Yeah, they actually should, here. Uh, there's the back of the book again. That's a really badass. Like for something that's gonna be in the back, like they actually. See, it's really hard to turn the book down, man. Even though, like, it just it looks good. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Shane? It says scaled right. Wolverine is a small enough character to be One Piece. Colossus pose is like a Heisman Trophy. Last I checked, he didn't. Play the ball. <laughs> Oh, that was good. Uh, so yeah, let me get back to the other. Here's another close-up though of the fire and like Colossus' is, uh, foot digging into the comic book. That's pretty cool. I wonder how they're gonna cover that seam line, because I, I think his, his the boot is cut in half on it, you know, um, with his leg. There seems like in the flames too, you can see, but um, with his leg though, it's like if you decide not to put him in the comic book, I wonder if there's going to be a seam line right there on his calf. Oh, uh, oh, well, hopefully there's more pictures. Yeah, here we go. So here is just one shot. There's that leg you were talking about, oh, Terry. So he's not one piece then. Mm -mm. It's, it's two different torsos. Okay. That's weird. Look, look, look at look at where his his leg is in the comic book one, and look where it is in the other one without the comic book. Yeah, it's, it's like, lower. No, I'm talking about Colossus. Oh. Oh yeah. So it might be a different piece, man. Because it's even angled differently. Like you see, like the where his knee pad is, where his knee would be. It's yeah. pointed. Uh, it's pointing completely to the left, while this one. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe their legs come off too. Maybe their whole leg comes off, even Wolverines, because I don't see a seam right there where that calf is at. I don't know. That's yes. Here, let me zoom in really quick. I'm just curious how they're doing it, is all. So there's no seam there on his leg, on his calf. There it seems There's to be one right here. It could be his boot, I'm guessing. Like more Maybe. than a line. But yeah, that's a good question. Like if you go to the other like see where like it's kinda like Yeah, it might go into the boot. Maybe it's that. Right there, see it? Uh where the top of his boot, maybe that's a seam. Right here. Mm-hmm. Could be. Uh, real quick, uh, Justin Bum says, What's up, y'all? Great surprise. Not that Sideshow are trying to different things like quarter duos or characters. Do you think we will see quarter blob from them? Dang, quarter blob? That'd be huge. 
Get out of here, just some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fastball special is not a new concept for a statue, but the comic book is ambitious of this of Saichiro. Yeah. Subslifer. Subslifer. Both their legs are in the book. When you remove the book, they have switch out legs. Tonight's episode, where's the scene? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep that's, going. Uh, that's what I want more than anything else is a bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep saying bishop on the microphone, you'll you'll get you'll get it. Google. Bishop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, it's it's a good idea that they came out with this with the whole X Men ninety seven coming out because this yeah, screams out the timing of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is without the book, so without the book, it still looks great. I think. What if 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 it was if it was apples to apples and they were both one fourth? Which one would you go without the book or with the book? I'll go with the book. To be honest, if it's quarter scale, I would want it with the book. I would say book that way you you'd have the option, you know. What about you, Jarhead? It's it's hard to pick, man, because that the book is so cool, you know. Um, the quarter scale, obviously, if 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 you're trying to get it to fit into your collection more, it, obviously quarter scale is going to match more. But that book is what you know is tempting me. My shirt's in the dryer, oh, Shane. Sorry. <laughs> The book stepping in it, yeah. It, it definitely, oh uh, man, like. All right, first question, I guess, like, are you gonna go for any of these, Jarhead? Like, yeah, I'm planning to get one of them. Which one? I don't know yet, because I was thinking the quarter scale, but then I'm looking at these pictures and I'm like, man, do I really want the statue without the book? And, well, I, and maybe, I, maybe I can live with the one fifth, you know? Well, you do read your omnibuses, so uh, there's. I have to get the book. So here are pictures of the quarter scale. And the cool thing about the quarter scale, they brought more. Uh, they brought more stuff to it. Look at that. Okay, so you know I always do this. I I'm known to do this. I'm gonna measure them up. <laughs> Oh, uh, he's, uh, I don't know. That's him standing up, right? Completely straight. Uh, I'll, me I'll measure his torso real quick. <laughs> that's about the same, man. You see that? Yeah, it's, it's, if it's smaller, it's not much smaller. Yeah, it's definitely not. I definitely think the, that the fastball looks better. Really? Terry? The Wolverine. Yeah. Oh, cool. This is my favorite Wolverine, by the way, for like any company. Well, I don't know if it's just that picture of it, but it doesn't look very good. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it could be the picture. What I like how they, they snuck oh, in that uh, <laughs> fastball special uh, uh, art print back there. Oh, I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. Like the, corner, the corner of it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Buy both, sell one. That's good. That's good advice. <laughs> Of course, you would say that nice guy. <laughs> You're uh, like the worst enabler ever. I wonder if Sasha is going to do the same thing with the Gambit and Rogue Dial coming soon. That's what I was saying. I hope so. Like, you you guys are hoping that it comes in quarter and fifth? Yeah, if there's not a comic book behind it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is funny. Just show us the weapon next Sideshow. Surely that one. <laughs> Everybody hey, kind of forgets right? about that mystique, too. You know, love the Sideshow Colossus. If I get the one-fifth scale, I could pair it up with the Jean Grey into Phoenix statue. Like, he's going to throw Wolverine at the Phoenix. Oh! Man, that's not bad. I, I don't think he would attack Jean like that. But So, what I... I don't know if it's a picture, but, like, is the... This is, this is the quarter scale. Is the paint job a little bit more vibrant on the quarter scale compared to the... Like, I've seen more, like, this looks more metal. Compared the skin to the... on the other one's darker. Yeah. I don't know, it's just a picture or... But... Well, the lighting is definitely different. Yeah, there's that too, yep. Yeah. 
looking good. It's looking real. Look at that. I'm going to do that tonight. <laughs> this would be like me and you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, could, I could throw you just like this. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> uh, it's me, Evan. If you're watching, uh, Photoshop me here, please. <laughs> no, no, no. The opposite of that. Put him on Wolverine's head and put me on Colossus' head. Come on, Evan. <laughs> you guys got to dress up, though. A newer Comic Con. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man, I love how simple the base is. A sideshow gets away with it, man. I don't know how they do it, but they get away with the simple bases. Looks kind of like the Thor base, though, right? With the, the Frost Giant head. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. The, the new sideshow Thor. That's. Uh, did says, you guys hear that? What? In the mic, it was like this really loud lightning. It's crazy. It's lightning, light, lightning storm over here. No, I, I didn't hear anything. Uh, what's it called? The frenzy said, "Just get the fourth dial and put artwork in the back." Instant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True. Uh, hey, Cadro, you can get quarter fastball and have it face off your side or juggernaut. That's what I'm gonna do with mine. That'd be pretty cool. Wolverine might be a freak under the sheets. He might attack Gene Jarhead. <laughs> so what's cool about this is I got a, uh, I got a custom um, Sentinel coming, and it's, it's huge. So I was thinking about getting the one fifth to kind of make it kind of look even better, pair them off against each other. Yeah. It yeah, I think it'll pair up with, especially. Uh, I think I think I remember the one you were talking about, or yeah. the custom you got. Yeah, I think I showed you pictures of it already. It's huge. I don't see any seam line on this guy's leg, man. I don't. Maybe they hit it really well. I think it's in the the top part of the boot. Well, on this one, because maybe this, it's the quarter scale, maybe they didn't do seam lines. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Like, look look at, uh, let's see, uh, go back to his arm, see if there's a seam line there. Or, uh, I, I, guess it wouldn't, it, I guess it wouldn't matter because it's the same with the arm and everything. But I guess the only difference would be the boot, right? For the quarter scale to the one fifth, if there's a seam line there. Uh, Nelson says, "You don't hear lightning; you hear thunder." Okay, you want me to kick him out or what, whatever, whatever, bro. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. My wife, my wife corrects me the same way. Yeah. Uh, don't forget the Nimrod on that Sentinel R six scale. If that's the one you got, Jarhead. Yeah. Force perspective, Shane. Force perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, they're little tiny Nimrods. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you guys think the Sentinel base or the Sentinel whatever is badass? Like this, like the most beat up Sentinel I think I've seen. It's X Men, so I mean, <laughs> what else? What else can you do? <laughs> the fire's kind of questionable with the seams. There's, this reminds me of the Sideshow Nightcrawler. I mean, you see them, but it doesn't really affect the statue overall. But they're there. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're not the best. Do they light up? That'd be dope. <laughs> That'd be dope, though, if they did. You think so? If you, I don't know if I would like it even more if it lit up. But, you know, if Sasha I mean, Ghost Rider looks 100% better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Point, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so light it up, uh, Sideshow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that bird statue we were looking at the other day, that looked a thousand times better lit up. The um, it's the Lord of the Rings one. Yeah, yeah, the Weta. Yeah, the fire on the base does not look great. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't need that fire on there. Too bad that shitty fire isn't removable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Sentinel Eye blinking on. Oh, that would be really cool. Like this little eye right here. I don't think it is though. I think it's painted. Yeah. Yeah. You would see some kind of like transparency to it, probably. There you go. So uh, one is uh, 
So that's 19 inches, and the other one's at 24 inches tall. What are you going for, a jarhead? Come on, man. Pick one. <laughs> <laughs> Put me on the spot, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Just get the Batman. <laughs> <laughs> That that wasn't an option. That wasn't an option, Terry. Uh, I want to show you guys the poll because the poll is starting to crank up, and uh, maybe I'll make a decision for you. Is this a banger? Uh, Sixty-four percent of people said yep. Only six percent said yep Infused. for the fifth scale, and zero percent said they're going to get that uh, Queen Studios Hulk. <laughs> Thirty-one percent said nope, not for me at all. You could get both of these and the Batman for the price of that Hulk. Yeah, that was that was kind of ridiculous, but yeah. I get it because how, how much silicone's on it. Yeah. They uh, lost me though when they said the arms move. Really? That, the, the head move? actually moves too. Yeah, the really? arms move up and down, and then the head. Uh, so it's a, so it's a toy. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll leave the poll up for a little bit longer, but here's a great question. What do you guys think that ES is going to be? I don't think it's going to be that much, Frenzy. 1500 Wow. No, no way. Think... No way, yeah. Not not, not, not today. I, I think ES on probably 500 for both, like 500 and 500 maybe. So uh, just to give you more deets on it, it's going to be seven fifty five for the for the fifth scale and a thousand fifty for the quarter scale. What did you just say? Giving us what? The deets. Deets. Yeah. The details. Is it much? <laughs> is it much harder to say details? All right. Well, no. <laughs> Man, kids these days. Kids these days. That's a ute. The, the deets. <laughs> If he points up, if so, this is a this is a question I had actually directly for Shane about the Hulk. If it has points of articulation, it's an action figure and or a toy, not a statue, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's a toy. I asked by you know, a group. I forgot to tag Shane on it, but it's, there you go. It's going to end up being a five thousand dollar toy. Exactly. I mean, it, it's silicone too. I mean, bending it. I mean, or keeping it. I mean, it's going to cut hair. Yeah. yeah. I don't like the the shininess of the skin. I was looking at pictures of it earlier, and like it's sweating. I don't, I don't like that look. Wow, that's that silicone. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's me, Evan. Please, like, yeah. Well, what happened? The deets for the peeps. <laughs> <laughs> don't so don't encourage him, please. <laughs> Uh, for that price, I get Devastator over Hulk all day. Yeah. And yeah, the Prime one? Uh, not the PCS. <laughs> oh, okay. there, <laughs> there are some people, though, that are invested in that line, you know, that are invested in, like, the, the movie yeah, Avengers. So, I mean, I can see well, that. That's only. You cut out Terry, what'd you say? Iron Man was the first. That's only the second Marvel one third from them. Is it? Yeah, they have Scarlet Witch coming out. They have what about uh, um, didn't they do Captain America too? Not in third scale, I don't, I don't think one third. No, no, not yet. No. I know they did half scale, they did a bust. Yeah, uh, they did a quarter scale, right? With the stealth suit. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think Jerry's unboxing that, didn't they? The stealth suit one. Well, anyways, going back into uh, <laughs> into ES, uh, Nelson says maybe three hundred ES for the quarter, two hundred for the fifth. I think that's too low. Like, especially with okay, that, that, that's his numbers, right? I shouldn't say it's too low. Uh, I think, how dare you have an opinion? I know. <laughs> I think it's going to be seven hundred for the fifth scale and five hundred for the quarter. I think they're both be under five. Like five and below. Maybe both five, but seven fifty and five hundred. 
I mean, have they ever come out with a 700 edition size for anything? Yeah, I thought the, the last uh, couple of things came out. Uh, the last few things have been like pretty low, actually, um, for them, anyways. I think there was one though that was a thousand or something. Like, I forgot what it was, but there was like one that they it spiked again and then it went back to below thousand. So yeah, in case you guys are just tuning in now, this thing got announced today and it's going to be out July 2024 through September 2024. So, four months. Yeah. What's up, D Rock? And that's both sizes. Yep, it says for both. Yep. Pre-order July, July. The only thing that changes between them is the price. <laughs> Uh, Batman vs. Joker, external enemy, eternal enemies, or this Heisman trophy since they price the same. I go for this. Batman. <laughs> All right. Well, if if you get this right, you have two Batmans anyways. <laughs> yeah. That's that, they say right with his mask. Yeah, it's kind of in half. Yeah, I've got, I've got zero Marvel, so yeah. So I like the Batman statue better overall, but I'm an X-Men guy too. So it's like, I would probably get the Batman over this, to tell you the truth. Too many Batman statues. There you go. I feel like that one is different enough though, man. How, how many Batman versus Joker statues are there? Yeah, with the flaming capes. All right, so uh, I just want to end it with like, yeah, I think this came out badass. I don't see too many issues with it. Like we usually pick up on like uh, the fingers being a little, you know, weird to some people. Like I, I never understood understood that one, but that's a nitpick for people. Uh, some of the seam lines on the base, like where the fire is, like stands out to me. Um, but the paint, the sculpt, everything. Everything is badass on this piece. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna sell well. I think. What do you think, Terry? No, I agree. I mean, it's really. It's not for me at all, but um, it's really well done that I can see. Says the guy with all the Batman stuff behind him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's a lot of Batmans too that, that I wouldn't get either. Yeah. Like, I'd prefer that Batman Dio, but I'm not getting that either. I, I want the nameplate. I wish they sold that alone. How about you, Jarhead? I'm I'm thinking about getting this for sure, you know, because obviously my the main thing I collect is X Men, so I'm thinking about it for sure. Uh, Luke says something. Uh, new Hulk, new Batman, new Wolverine. Might be time for something different, Sideshow. And I don't mean Dazzler. <laughs> Even oh, though I, but you're asking if this is going to sell well. That's what you were asking. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a whole different thing. Yeah. All right, so since, uh, yeah, so heads up, this is, I think it's a badass piece, but since we're talking about Hulk for like the last 10 minutes, uh, look at this baby. You can see it sweating in this picture. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> it's, it's a great, it's a great likeness and everything, and it looks good. I just, no. It's, it's not what you collect. No. <laughs> Even the pubes and the, the chest and everything. It's... The fact that he looks like me with my shirt off okay. is kind of <laughs> starting to sound yeah. like Rashid, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's cool, but <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> I love that. So you know, I've always hated J and D simple base, but like. These guys know how to do a simple base, like the broken rocks up top, and yeah, you, you can't get you can't you can't get much more simple than that. Yeah, this would actually look like it came from J and D if you put them next to them. Yeah, like right there. Like I, w I wouldn't be surprised if it said J and D. <laughs> get your custom nameplate. <laughs> He's huge, though, man. Like I was asking some people in another group, like. Uh, I think the J and D Wonder Woman was at thirty two hundred dollars. 
and this one's at forty four hundred dollars. So I see the price being justified in that sense, but then people came at it like saying like hell no, like it's way overpriced. <laughs> I've seen some people I mean, say they were gonna get this, so we'll see. Yeah, I mean it, it wasn't for me, even if it was fifteen hundred. Really? Wow. I mean, where would <laughs> I put this thing? I got a one third devastator coming. <laughs> Not sure. Oh, this is cool. So we we got a uh, champion here. I might I might have to grab it at some point on the aftermarket for a better price to match up with my custom seventy seven Hulk. Dang. Uh, I'm not sure if they actually made him sweaty or if that's just the silicone sweating. What, what's the saying? His his sweat games on fleek. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, their track record though. All their all their silicone does this. Yeah, and they actually give you a powder to put on the silicone too. That, that's weird. That's weird to me, man. So you got like powder him up. And like <laughs> that's really weird. We well, yeah, like like kind of like take it like a rag and kind of get the sweat off of him. Uh, that's, that's just weird to me. Look at the realism though in this thing. This looks cool. So I gotta say something. We got fifty people here, so like I got to see a J and D in person, and I don't know if someone in thinks differently. But when I when you see, what I saw was whatever you see in pictures is what you see in person. I don't I never like to argue like from my experience, it's definitely like the same thing as you see as you see in person. So if it looks like crap in in pictures, it looks like crap in person. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. This looks good though, man. Look at the freaking wrinkles. Uh, I'm not a foot guy, but like, this looks. Are his cool. are his feet silicone or are they polystone? The, the whole uh, it's 100 silicone. That's confirmed. Uh, I forgot. I saw it somewhere. Someone mentioned it in one of the groups, but yeah, it was in the Queen Studios group. So someone did. So it has to have some kind of skeletal shit to hold him up. Which one did you see? I saw the Batman, the uh, Dark Knight Batman in person. That didn't, to me, everything I saw in pictures is the same thing I saw in person. To me, I didn't like it, but like, you know, I, I could see why some people like it. There's a lot of like detail the closer you get to it, but from far away, it did not do it justice. Oh, yeah, uh, Jarhead, this is what you could do with the portrait, by the way. You could tilt it. Yes, it's a toy. I get it. It's a toy. <laughs> <laughs> okay so yeah there you go yeah this is this is something i've been like trying to get to happen but uh i guess you guys you don't like it jarhead like some in some um uh, innovation <laughs> that's not a statue um, then is it i don't know <laughs> I, I, I mean it's a fine line at that point I like this guy, uh, D-Rock. He says, that looks like me every morning. <laughs> yeah, we some angles in real life where the lighting really makes the silicone paint look crap at that scale. The one room looks good, flat though. Jarhead would buy this if it was a car. <laughs> no one's safe, Jarhead. Every time I go live by myself, I'm not even safe by myself. <laughs> So this is how much the arm could move. Uh, it's, I, don't know, I think it's pretty cool, man. All right, let's check out a video really quick before we get out of here. They have a... Could you see okay? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that puny human down there. <laughs> Yeah, that's that quarter skill Hulk, uh, uh, Captain America, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you see how much force you have to put on that thing, though? That's... It's because he's the Hulk. <laughs> he's like trembling. He's putting so much force on it. So they said, uh, I, they said I'd be scared to do that, man. 
I wouldn't do that too many times. <laughs> it's, really not, it's, it's really not that much articulation either. So it's like, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't make like, okay, so it moves like an inch. Sometimes an inch is all you need, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who's telling you that, but that's not true. <laughs> Okay, a quick question. Do you guys think this is movie accurate? Like, I'm not good with that movie, movie accuracy stuff because, like, I don't think so, there's one piece that looks movie accurate. I think it looks like Hulk. I mean, it looks like from him from the movies. Like, it looks like Ralph, Ralph whatever his name is. Yeah. Um, it looks like him as Hulk, but I don't know. You'd have to be pretty hardcore to buy this, I think. Mm hmm. I could imagine a skeletal template and a mole and tons of silicone poured in according to a certain point for this action figure. <laughs> uh, but just, you know, does that make sense to y'all? Like, is it okay? It, it moves like an inch. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah. To me, the head makes a uh, sense. Like, it makes it different, but the arms, like, it doesn't make sense to me. Like you said, it's not enough to make it a whole different statue. Yeah. And especially. <sighs> I know the price is bothering everybody right now, but the me for me the the price is in the amount of silicone they put into this thing. But do you think they'll make a another Hulk life size bust? No, I think they already made two, didn't they? Just the one, right? Queen. No, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. They only did one. I don't think they'll do another bust. Like. I don't know. Maybe. I think they've only done... No, they did Loki. Uh, they did two versions of Loki for their bus, right? Yeah, two Thanos. Oh, they did? Oh, wow. So there's that video, and then there's this video. It's so loud. I bet you this will sell out. Yeah, what's the edition size on this thing? Wasn't it like 75? Yeah. I thought it was 250, wasn't it? It's 250? Oh no, that's not gonna sell. It was a 299, I don't remember. Look how big his arm is. Like they had to put his whole. I would say this looks way better than any J and D piece I've seen. Oh yeah, so what do you guys think about that? Like what do you guys think how this how does this compare to J and D? I think it's up there. I think it's Queen Studios always did to me, always always did pretty good work like their stuff was like I, I had one of their statues it wasn't like um silicone or anything like that but I, I always thought the quality on their statues was really good so I think the likeness is definitely better than most of the JNDs yeah the likeness definitely pops out for me too here but JND doesn't care what you think anyway so yeah <laughs> I mean, that's how it should be, though, right? <laughs> I love how much they're trembling when they're moving the arms. Like, it's like, <laughs> yeah. I gotta double check the edition size because, uh, oh, here we go. Uh, full price is four thousand four hundred dollars. Uh, crafted with premium materials, including platinum silicone for the head sculpt, body, eyes, teeth, resin for the base, resin for the base, rooted hair for the hair, and genuine fabric for the pants. Addition size is two hundred ninety nine. Wow! It's due uh, Q two of twenty twenty five. Dang! Yeah, it's not licensed here, so you gotta go with uh, with your boy. Gen uh, <laughs> that looks pretty cool though right you guys gotta agree like before yeah. that looks pretty cool yeah. so they're clearly doing the first avengers movie okay i don't know about that uh daniel is saying oh crap we need to step up our game yeah i think so likeness wise yeah i think we've all been saying that yeah <laughs> Cool, cool. We're, we'll get back to our, you know, our uh, sideshow uh, 
peasant life here. So, uh, what is it? Uh, seven hundred bucks. That that looks pretty good, right? <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, cool, cool announcements, man. Like it's statue community is on fire this year. It's only in March. So. Custom games are, you know, they're, they're starting to lack, man. I don't know what's going on with those guys. Excuse but. me. Excuse me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I feel like these movie pieces don't age well. I'd rather do well over comic, I guess. Not sure. That JD India duo pack. Oh, the Indiana Jones. Yeah, that's pretty badass. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's all I had, man. The the Wolverine Colossus is a banger, whatever they could say. I think uh, it's a huge surprise to me that they came out in two scales. And to me, I think it surprised everybody. The argument you put up, though, uh, Jarhead, about having the book in the fifth scale so people are, you know, more tempted on going both. But yeah see how that works but i think i think it's like i want, I want to make a like a little video where it's a stamp of approval from cmp <laughs> but uh i think it's a badass piece uh cherry what, what do you think man for the hulk and the other the, dire? the hulk yeah both of them the both pieces we showed today well i mean they're both marvel so no thank you <laughs> <laughs> but, i how mean dare you they both look good. I mean, but I definitely would prefer the, in this case, the peasant life. <laughs> yeah, I definitely that too. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Jarhead? What do you think of those two pieces? I, it's not even a competition for me. Like, I wouldn't buy that, you know. But there are there are people out there that are gonna buy that statue. It's gonna sell out, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the Asian market, especially, man, they love that. Like, all the movie pieces. It seems like they eat that stuff up. So. It's gonna sell out for sure, um, and um, but you know, for me, I would stick to the comic book stuff because that's what I call it. So, gotcha. well, it's not it's not licensed here, so it's gonna sell out for sure for distributors. Yeah, selling to Just them. Like yeah. What about the Colossus and Wolverine? Real, really quick, you you make your mind up, mind up yet, or? <laughs> I mean, I'm, 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 I'm for sure thinking about it. Um, I, I'm leaning towards the quarter scale, but we'll see. Yeah. Sweet. Well, uh, if you want to use uh, code CMP2024, you guys get a uh, 10%. No kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, Terry, Jarhead, thanks for joining in. Uh, Jerry and uh, John are doing an unboxing of the a couple pieces, so jump over there if you guys can. And... Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. And uh, thanks again. Everyone have a good night. Peace. See you.